All right, I've just made it to the top of Sunshine Express. I'm sitting on one of the chairs. Obviously it's not moving because it's summertime. There's no snow. It's really pretty. A few of the aspen trees are starting to change. Um, I will say that there is a lot of litter. It's on the ski pole. Kind of helpful to me, but really should not be there. It's currently misting, so I'm going to put my rain jacket on. I don't know about rain pants at this point because I'm still pretty hot. Um, I do have an extra layer with me for when I need it. Uh, let's see. Last summer I came out here and I looked at Priest Creek Lift. And I found the vault part of it, which is in the drive terminal top. Um, it was really cool. It had some uh, really cool stuff and a really huge auxiliary diesel engine. I think it's auxiliary. It should be. Anyway, I'm going to show that here in a minute, but I'm going to get my rain jacket on first. All right. I am in the top terminal of Priest Creek. Part of it. Part of the, tarp, the top terminal. Um, there's some scaffolding there. It's for when they do stuff like taking the chairs off and putting them back in their place. Anyway, this is what I'm showing right now. There's all these trash can lids. At the bottom, there were 209 trash cans sitting there. Uh, here's all the lids for them. There's a chipmunk and it's creeping me out because the sound. Here's the last tower on the lift. That will tell me how many towers were on here. Um, this is, currently I would be standing in the middle of all those trash cans in that photo. Here's part of one of the chairs. It's like a chair frame. It looks like the seat like completely fell off of it or something. Not sure what those are for. They might be like jacks of some sort. Then I think these are off the sundown lift. They're the, I think they're like the bubble covers. And back up a little bit. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like, I have no idea. It's weird. It has a key thing for it. It's like a firebox or something. Anyway, that's what's in here at this point. Uh, today is September 11th or 9-11. Yesterday, all the chairs just got picked up from the bottom. I was pretty bummed about that yesterday, but here we are. Okay. So yeah, that's down there. I am currently in another part of the upper terminal. This is right above the place where the trash cans are. That fire alarm on the ceiling there is low on battery, so it's chirping. This is a nice snowboard. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that thing. That's huge. I mean, this auger is like, okay, so this is about the size of mine. And then this thing has like another foot. It's like, it's huge. It's awesome. So here's some other electrical boxes, I guess. Um, the solder goes right up into the lifty shack part of it. Wow, guess there's like, I don't know, three or four feet in between the ceiling and the next level. Jeez, the door back there, extra padding. Jeez, that thing's going to scare me so much. I don't know what these are. They're interesting. Anyway, this place is like a little hangout lounge. They've got some couches up here. They're actually really nice ones. Kind of crazy. I don't know why they have all this nice stuff and a lift they're tearing out. Microwave. All right. Here's the heart of the operation. Sorry for the echo. Here is the primary engine for the ski lift. I guess it only runs on diesel, which would be 
probably why they stopped using this. Anyway, we've got this huge diesel engine. Here's like the radiator, the radiator of it right here. And they open the garage door is my guess. Um, so yeah, they've got this big old diesel engine running. Got a huge starter on it. I don't know what this timer thing is, but it's interesting. Anyway. And our couch back here, controls, power, uh, more controls. Oh, okay, so here's the primary electric motor, the big keg. And then here's the gearbox, main shaft goes up there and the bull wheel is at the top of it. Super cool. Under this yellow thing coming out of the garage door, that's where those hoses are. I'll show a picture of that right now. So those hoses go underground and then there's the diesel tank for the auxiliary engine. It's really cool. Up here on the more public side of things, got the chairs coming in. It was a RSU style or um, let's see, that would be counterclockwise rotation. Anyway, here's the bull wheel. That's the main shaft I just looked at. Then it was like rod things and springs. Or the bull wheel break. Pretty sure. Service brake was down there, I think. Anyway, here's a glance down the lift line today. They took all the chairs off, as I mentioned earlier. So, all the chairs are gone. Here you can see where uh, all the trash cans were. It's under this board right here. Um, beautiful ship assemblies, though. Uh, let's see. we got here all right so right here i'm looking at the last tower it's number 20 uh 21 so this was a 21 tower lift now originally it wasn't because i can tell by this tower 20 it was a later add it's got nuts and bolts on it let's see but yeah wouldn't that be a huge span to get from 19 to the bull wheel. I mean, really. They had to add two towers. And even they are pretty far apart. I can't tell if that's a block down there or not. With that pad against it, looks like cardboard. Can't tell if it's a block or not. I think it is. So... I don't know, maybe most of the towers just completely got replaced at one point or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is Bruce Creek. I'm going to get next to this tall tree here. I know, very descriptive. And it's going to, I just took a picture of it. Um, so yeah, just in the future, like end of next summer, I'll come up here and see what it looks like without this year. Pretty lift, pretty cool lift too. That one is also being pulled out next summer, I think. It's just old, I guess. So I want to put in something more efficient spit more people off at Morningside and make that line get five miles longer. Especially when they do Wild Blue. It's going to be very interesting to see. I have some really bad things to say about it right now, but I'll hold my thoughts till the future because can't really decide at this point, you know? 
maybe we'll do something better. Anyway, yeah, that's Priest Creek.